In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to properly rig up your row on the egg loop knot that you can learn how to tie uh, in a different video on the website. And uh, one of our members uh, requested uh, to see a video on how to how to rig up rows, so I'm going to do that and show a couple different ways how you can attach it to the hook, and also some things you can use to help it float off the bottom. So this is pretty much how I rig up row. Um, for steelhead and salmon. Uh, I'm going to use smaller gear so this would be more uh, towards steelhead size fishing. I'm going to use this yellow um, line. You wouldn't use this if you were fishing because you wouldn't catch anything. But just, just so you can see it better. I'm going to use a let's see here. Let's use a number two. Uh, this is a pink hook. And I'm going to tie a basic Abe glue knot. I'm not going to show it. Uh, show you how to do it here. You can watch that video. Uh, there's a link below on uh, where you can learn how to tie the, the egg loop knot. Comes really comes in handy for steelhead and salmon fishing. If you're fishing bait, um, you can use it to uh, attach sand shrimp row. Uh, lots of different types of bait, and uh, it's, a, it's a really good knot. It holds almost all of the original strength of the line, the pound test that you're using. Um, so, went out fishing a little bit yesterday, so I got some row here that's in smaller chunks. Uh, what I like to do is uh, throw in a few puff balls in. Uh, my row container that way they can kind of get the scent on them and uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your loop once you get it tied up once you get your egg loop tied up open it up and grab your chunk of row that you're going to use and what you're going to do is slide the row through the hook wrap it up onto the shank of the hook then take your loop and secure it. Over the eggs. So now we've got your little chunk of row secured with the egg loop and you slid it up the hook so the part of the skine is uh, it's been punctured with the hook so that'll help hold it a little bit better. And then you can take a little puff ball, which I like to use, and uh, you're gonna thread that up your hook. Like this. This is probably a little too big of a size puff ball, but it would work. You're gonna slide it all the way to the top and now you are left with a nice chunk of row with a little puff ball on it and that'll help float it off the bottom so you can, don't get tangled up uh, another thing you can do is uh, if you want to do it more of the old school technique and you don't have puff balls and you have a bunch of corkies, which a lot of people have, is uh, before you tie the other end of your leader onto your um, swivel or the other end of what you're using, you will slide your corky down your line. Now, You've got your little corky, or you can use small spinning glows when the water's higher. Or you're salmon fishing, you can use bigger spinning glows, bigger chunks of row. Um, that right there is a killer bait for steelhead and salmon fishing, and I'm really excited. It's almost December 1st, the opener for winter steelhead up in Oregon, so I'm kind of pumped for that. And so I thought I'd show you this little video on how to bait up row 
for steelhead and salmon fishing, and good luck out there.